Hey everyone, I've made all my tests and I even tried the blaster during an event. Time for my full review of the Worker Harrier. I'm that little nerve guy, welcome to Ted. This Worker Harrier. Uh, as you saw in my unboxing, not completely perfect. One or two hiccups with that. For the seal, I managed to investigate and find the issue. I fixed the lubrication inside and I managed to do a good chronograph, but we're gonna come back to that in a bit. Uh, for what I don't like on this blaster, my main gripes go with the scar barrel. I thought at first it was the scar barrel itself, but uh, this thing barely holds it will drop on gravity, it is not holding on this barrel. But the thing is, this is not the scar barrel, it is the barrel itself, because my swim doesn't fit there, and that thing fit tight on my 15.95 millimeter swim barrel. So I don't know why it doesn't fit on that supposedly 16 millimeter. Then it's uh, maybe a cosmetic choice, that little 5 round magazine, I don't really see the use of it. And for the price they charge for this magazine, I mean this thing, this little thing is more expensive than a 10 round talon, which will look almost better in this thing and will be better into gameplay. There was the vertical palm grip, but that's a choice, it's a personal choice, I prefer angle 4 grip. That's not a thing, I'm not going to remove any point to the blaster for that because for the rest, what you get is a field ready blaster with everything included in the box. This is a primary spring powered pump action blaster. This thing is awesome all around. Removing my few hiccups I, have, I had at first and there is the recurrent issue of the blaster supposedly I haven't tried it but not catching with strong spring but uh, fortunately enough for us Saber have us covered with a new plunger and new part coming for this thing back to the Harrier this thing was almost flawless in gameplay I mean I had no jam uh, the only few hiccups I had were with badly worn dart if you're using brand new dart into this thing it is flawless and the performance are outstanding. I mean, let's go check the chronograph. So with the 1.1 millimeter spring and the 310 millimeter barrel, we had 177 low, 188 high and an average of 182, which is not bad if you think about the lightness of the prime and the easiness to prime this thing. If you switch over to the 370 millimeter barrel, you end up with again a low of 177, high of 188, quite the same, but the average is a little bit higher with 184. And those were made over 20 worker HE dart. Then let's swap spring and go with the 300 millimeter spring, so the 1.1 long spring included in the kit. With that long spring and that 310 millimeter barrel, we had lows of 189, high of 211, and an average of 196 FPS, which is not bad. And then we switch over to the 370 millimeter barrel, and that's where this blaster shine because I feel like this big plunger tube need a long barrel to work. We had lows of 190 highs of 216 and an average of 202 which is quite good an average over 200 fps on a very light spring and light prime like that with no scar over 20 dart 20 worker he dart that is quite amazing then i would have to speak about the quality of construction itself of this blaster i mean there is metal aluminium everywhere in that thing Go with the barrel, uh, those rail, all the rail are aluminum. This trigger, uh, safety, look plastic, unfortunately. This grip guard, knuckle guard, is metal on it. 
the trigger too. This mag release is plastic, but inside the priming bar, they are metal. The pusher is metal and it's a skinny pusher, meaning you can remove your mag anytime you want. You don't have to half prime your blaster. That is a neat feature. And one trick worker kind of learn from uh, maybe competition, maybe swim and jet is the threaded dark gate. And that I can't stress enough, this is where this blaster shines. I mean, the Swift from Worker was an incredible blaster, but it had so many flaws that you need to address. I ended up keeping the blaster in a one fixed configuration of 250-ish FPS long barrel with the swing kit installed on it. Uh, this thing have a threaded barrel and threaded dark gate, and that solved a lot of problems. This thing comes with it. The dark gate is metal, the pusher is metal. The only thing which is plastic inside, I think it's the catch and the plunger itself. But again, like I said, Saber is offering a replacement one. I really suggest you get one. And then when you let go of the, all the metal parts that are everywhere into this thing, you have the buffer tube stock, which is standard and very good quality. You have the fact that there is brass inserts everywhere in your shell, so you don't strip down the shell itself with the screw. This is quite amazing. And the thickness and rigidity of that shell. Uh, yeah, okay, there is that little color thing uh, with the quality control, maybe at worker. Uh, I already contacted Out of Dart for this thing. Uh, it is not his fault. Basically, most of the white Harrier look this way. And for what I've seen on the field, the most of the Harrier are white on the field from what I saw. And I've never seen one which was, which was basically pristine white all the way, whatever the seller they come from. Uh, two of my friends got them from AK Blaster Mod and had the exact same thing as me. Plus, my other friend got a complete yellow uh, blaster instead of having one part white and one part yellow. But uh, weird thing, most of the yellowish part are the rear section and most of the pristine white one are the front section. I really, so far, I have yet to see an all white area. That said, this thing is gonna go under paint. I hold no grudge to anybody. This is worker quality control. They might get their game together. This may be just because they molded this part after a batch of orange and that left some, pig, some pigment into the color or just a bad uh, batch making without enough color into the mix. Mechanically speaking, this thing is impressive. It works, it is high grade. Yeah, it's a uh, hundred and eighty-nine dollar United States dollar, something like that. This is an expensive blaster, but if you compare with the competition with this this amount of metal, this amount of quality, I mean we came a long way since the prophecy and it shows into this blaster. This thing is everything you will want right out of the box. If you want more, you will be able to grab more. I mean, this is a well-taught blaster from Worker. Good job. I love the aesthetic. This is like your new thing aesthetic, but that really fits well. It doesn't scream toy too loud, but it doesn't scream I am a real thing either. So I really love it. Overall, this is a great one. I managed to install the scar with a little double-sided tape on one end of the barrel and my scar held in place during the whole game. I never had to touch it. This thing is almost, almost flawless. Yeah, that's it for this small video. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerd guy. Please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notified for my latest video. This was Dave Fatag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.